Hey guys, this is Casey Lockett here with another Lego How To. This is my tutorial on how to make a Lego bed set, a bed and a nightstand. This is uh, very easy, and I'm sure I'm not the first person to have discovered it, but you know. Um, so, um, first of all, I'd like uh, happy holidays. Um, hope you guys, uh, you know, I'll probably won't be making very many Lego videos over the uh, Christmas break and stuff, so, um, but after that, you know, I mean, with hopefully getting some more Legos for Christmas, so, you know, I'll let you guys know about that. Um, so, let's start off with the um, nightstand. Uh, we're going to, first of all, you're going to need a lot of these pieces, ones that are like wood. <clears throat> They're like, I don't know, like log, log cabin-y things, I don't know what you'd call them, so we're going to need a few of these. Now you can uh, use pretty much any colors for these. My colors are red, white, and brown. So, I mean, those are the pieces I had access to. So, um, if you don't like my color, you know, go ahead and change it. But, you know. Okay, so the pieces to make the um, nightstand, you're going to need a... I like dark gray, but that's my that's part of my color stuff. <clears throat> uh, we're going to need a gray 2x2 two two flat. Now we're going to take two of these log cabin pieces, two by one, uh, big, and we're going to put them on the edges, side by side, like that. So there's the, I'll zoom in on that for you guys. So there's already a lot of it. Now we're going to, oops, sorry. Now we're going to take, uh, set this aside for a minute, and we're going to build a lamp. We're going to take, in this case, uh, for this color, <clears throat> for these colors, brown, and then we're going to put, yellow or I put orange it can be yellow or orange um, this is going to be like the light bulb but any stud really it doesn't matter now I chose this kind of mushroomy uh, lampshade but you know again you can really choose any colors now we're going to stick it in the middle of these four dots or not dots studs so it will look like that and there is a simple nightstand if you want you can like put it on any of these one of these, it really doesn't matter, but I think it looks the best if I put it in the middle. So there's a nightstand. Fairly simple. Alright, now onto the bed. Uh, like I said, I chose red, so uh, we're going to use... Uh, oh, shoot, sorry guys. Uh, tripod's kind of in the way. So we're going to see, uh, here's a 4x8 flat plate. And we're going to need... Four two by two flat no studs, and I have uh, these are going to make the covers of the bed. And I have, if you can see, this is kind of a faded red, and this is a darker red for some reason. So I have two of each, so I'm kind of going to make it a checkerboard pattern. Now, when you're putting these on, you want at the bottom to leave one row down here. Oh, so that will come into play later. So you're going to take your four, like I said, I'm doing a checkerboard pattern, doesn't really matter. So, no, those are my covers. You can, like, make them bigger, or if you have a bigger uh, plate with studs, you can make it different. Now we're going to take a 4x1 uh, log cabin piece, and we're going to put it on the edge row left uh, at the bottom. So that's going to be the bottom of the bed. Now turning this, oh, actually, you know what, no, we're going to take another one of these. We're going to put it on the far other, we're going to take another 4x1 log cabin piece and we're going to put it on the other far end of the bed. So it'll look like that right now. Now it doesn't, now it pretty much just doesn't have pillows. If you hear that other sound in the background, just ignore that. It's my mom and dad. <clears throat> now turn it upside down. And we're going to take eight studs. I could not find any other dark grays, so I just decided to use black for, like, um, shadowy, maybe. But, you know, it really doesn't matter. So, if you're going to do black like me, put them on the little um, circles. Don't put them on the edges, and then put a gray stud. So, the gray will be at the bottom. The black will be at the top. And then do that to the top corners. So it looks like that. Finishing up the bed. If you have a the top, if you have like a two by one with one dot 
with a one stud piece, you can put that on there and then maybe put some fancy schmancy thing, but it really doesn't matter. Now we're going to take a 2x1 flat, no special, but it's brown. Put that near the top of the bed. And I'm taking this 2x2 two two, uh, triangular slant piece like that. I think it looks good. I'm running out of battery. Now we're going to build pillows and then we'll be done. We take these white. Two, this one's a two by two. If you have two of these, actually, it's a two by two, but it has a slant. If you have two of these, that's great. I couldn't find another one, so I just used these little ones to make one. So just put those on there. And there you have a nice little bed set to use in your Lego City house. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and Merry Christmas.